Hey guys, Squirrel here. I'm back with another Euro Truck. I'm on Hungary again, and I got a loan and bought my first Scania. Decorated it with the the Squirrel Logistics skin, of course. <laughs> Doesn't look quite as good without the high line, though, does it? Eh? Or the top line? It just looks. It's the basic Scania. In fact, I had to get a loan, and it was a hundred grand loan. I couldn't lend any more off the bank. And then just to top it all off, I had to take the sun visor off so that I just had enough money to buy the truck. It was seriously that close. As you know, I'm on Hungary. I've started again on Hungary because you need to have a new profile. Which is fine. I don't, I don't mind doing that. Uh, this is now Hungary 0.9.1. There's been an update. There are some bugs in this map, but some of them have been fixed. People driving into invisible walls in the road and, uh, and uh, pedestrian crosses... And, that flip you up in the air. I've seen them. I've seen pictures of them. Some have even happened to me. Oversized load. You should have your beacons on, mate. That's just outrageous. I don't even think you have your lights on properly. In fact, I've got my headlights on. <coughs> Cough. I'm on my way. It's, what is it, 5 a.m. in Hungary. And I'm on my way to pick up what is the newest addition to the Squirrel Logistics trailer set and I absolutely love this trailer. This is, and I'm not just saying this, this is quite possibly one of my favourite trailers in the game. Um, it was developed by uh, a, a guy who is one of my followers and subscribers. He offered to do it. It took him quite a while to get it right, but I think you'll agree. It looks fantastic. Wait till you see it. We're only seven minutes away. Leveling up in Hungary is very tricky. One of the reasons it seems to be very tricky is because, well, there aren't that many cities and the distances are more compressed. Well, not compressed, as in the less compressed than SCS's map. So when you're driving 10 kilometers, it feels a lot more like 10 kilometers than 10 kilometers in um, a standard SCS map. And that, of course, makes the journeys longer, which means you level up much slower. It's a lot more of an authentic experience, which you may or may not like. But I think this map is going places. I think it's going to be. I think it is a great addition to the Euro Truck world. Um, but it's less arcadey and more of a sim map. It's more of a a real truckers. By the time these guys have finished doing this, put it that way. By the time they finish doing the entire Hungary map, um, I think that most virtual trucking companies out there will choose to run on this map because it is so much more authentic. Uh, not just to drive on, but in terms of distances and the hours that you have to put in. And I think that will appeal to virtual trucking companies out there. But it is, you know, it is harder to level up. You d I didn't have to get a loan. I could have carried on just doing ad hoc jobs. If you're just starting out, then... In the early stages, it really matters more that you level up your, your guy first get some points into long distance, that's what's going to let you break out. The long distance journeys are the things that start to bring the money in. Uh, and once you've got a few points in long distance, you probably want to start putting a point or two in something like fragile cargo or just-in-time delivery. Just so that, you know, put one point in it just so that it unlocks that category. And that will, you'll find it then pays a lot more money. Whoa, that kicks the steering wheel a bit when you go over the tram lines. I uh, just noticed we're going left here. So yes, it's a beautiful morning in Hungary. Does that tram move? I wish that tram moved. I don't think it does, but I really wish that tram moved. It's quite funny being back in a super basic Scania. Like, the only thing I could afford to do was to put the skin on it. I haven't even got a sun visor. But, it's been so long since I started a brand new profile, it really was an eye-opener going back to basics again. Like, wow, I, I don't have any garages. I can't just fast travel to a place I want to be in. <laughs> I, have, I can't afford anything. I can't put any accessories on my truck. It's just... It's incredible how, how you know, getting back to level one again... I'd forgotten what it was like. Because that was... 12 months ago was when I started playing this game. January 2013. 12 months ago. Right, we're nearly here. You're going to see this amazing trailer now. Look at this. They've got grass all over the... They've got such a dirty place. This is a horrible place. This is no place for my trailer. 
I'm going to rescue my trailer out of this dump. This is it. The concrete mixer. The Squirrel Logistics concrete mixer. This trailer allows us to deliver... Allows the Squirrel Logistics company... To deliver mixed concrete to building sites. If only the game was like that. I've said this before. If only the game would let you have trailers. Like flatbed trailers or specialist trailers like this. And then let you basically pick up the load rather than keep changing trailer. That would be so much cooler. And so much more realistic. Incidentally, that trailer shouldn't really be spinning. <laughs> because there's nothing attached to it. So I don't know where it's getting all its power from. But let's get outside. You've got to see this. It's, oh, it's just a brilliant trailer. It's a concrete mixer, it weighs 15 tons. We're taking it to the TNT warehouse apparently. This mixer also puts Squirrel Logistics um, depots onto the map as well. And I will, I have packaged it. And in the video description, there will be a link should you wish to download it. But let me see. Look at that. Do you not think that is awesome? I love that trailer. And it goes so well. It goes so well, the black or white scanner. I mean, obviously I've not got the best looking scanner in the world right now. You know, I haven't got the best looking scan here, have I? But it's it's a pretty basic scan here. But the fact, if you've got a white or a black truck, that trailer is going to look superb. Now I'm looking at the minimap and wondering where my sat-nav directions are. <laughs> I don't see any red arrows on my sat-nav map, which is kind of interesting. Where exactly are we taking this? Oh, there. There it is. There's no sat-nav route. Look at that. Oh, we're going, only going down the road to here, apparently. Why is the sat-nav broken? That's, I've never seen that before. I wonder if the map's broken in some way. And the sat-nav is all confused about it. Oh, that's a nice trailer. I have got a number of trailers installed. A number of mods installed trailers installed. I think I should have gone... Should I just have gone right there? Yes, I'll have to do a right, right, left. I should have gone right there. I was all excited looking around. Um, I shall link in the video description the mods that I'm using. As ever. But obviously this squirrel logistic... This this um, video is primarily to show you this amazing thing. And also just so that you can get an update on how far I am progressed with my... I've seen that before. I've pulled that once. How far progressed I am with my um, new profile on the Hungry Map. I have been streaming it. So I did stream it on Friday night. So I have leveled it up a little bit. But like I say, it's slow going at the moment. And obviously the loan installments are going to come in and take all my money. i tell you what did happen on the stream, which was quite nasty. The... Um, I was, I was going round a roundabout, and an AI car pulled out on me. But it didn't just pull out on me, it waited until I was all the way around the roundabout, and I couldn't see it anymore. And then it pulled out and slammed into the side of me, and I got charged, was it 400 or 4, uh, 400, 400 euros, I think it was, for a crashed vehicle. Which, when you've only got 2,000 euros in your account, 400 euros for something which wasn't your fault was <laughs> very, very annoying, actually. And again, you know, given my normal career profile, I wouldn't be bothered by that. I'd be like, oh, stupid AI. Um, but when you've only got a couple of thousand euros to your name, things like that are very expensive and irritating. They set you back. It was, you know, 25% of my money. Um, but, you know, the new AI is here soon, I think. Um... Looking at the beta patches coming out for it, seem to seem to be slowing down. 
I do not have a release date. I do not know when it's going to be released, but 1.9 does include the brand new, completely rewritten AI. It's been through a lot of testing, which is good. And it's going to transform the way the AI cars drive. Um, even, especially in things like the German Autobahns, where there shall be no speed limit. So the, on the German Autobahns, the AI cars will, will be not have any speed limits. So you can expect some fun and games when you're changing lanes. That should be fun. Um, what else do we got? Yeah, so the patches have slowed down, so I'm kind of expecting 1.9 to come out in January. Um, hopefully, within the next week or two, fingers crossed, but I genuinely don't know. But look at this trailer. You've got to download this trailer, guys. If you've got a Squirrel Logistics truck, you most definitely have to download this trailer. Uh, well, it's not this left turn, so I've got to go over the roundabout, under the bridge, take a left. This is like old school navigation. Having to bring up the map and do it properly. Part of me wonders if you should be able to turn the sat nav off. I mean, obviously you can turn it off by doing that, but then you, know, you don't get all the, the readout as well. I have to say the scenery in this map is um, pretty first class. Some of the textures are a little bit dodgy like that one where all the writing's blurred, but in terms of the modelling, no man, the textures aren't, you know, aren't the best, but the modelling is absolutely brilliant. So detailed. It must have taken them so long to lay all this stuff out. And what a big objective. Hundreds of cities in the whole of Hungary. And if you look at the road, I mean, you've seen the road network, haven't you? Look, they're not just straight roads. They're the proper bendy little roads, curved with dead ends. I just love the fact he left all the pieces in the middle. <laughs> that just cracks me up. Um, but there are definitely parts of the road system that you'll be driving down, you'll suddenly hit an invisible wall. There's nothing you can do until he fixes that. All you can do about that is, is effectively find a new way, a new route to your destination. There is no fix for that. There's the roundabout. I can't read Hungarian. Why do they need so many little accents over the letters? That's what I don't understand. Like, English has managed to drop that. As a language, we've managed to drop all those little accents and characters. It's just been deemed that we don't need them. But, you know, most European languages have retained them. And I find that interesting. Budapest back there. Sign for Budapest. So if you look at that now, that should presumably have a concrete car park outside of that supermarket. Why is this going so slowly? Is that truck in front there? There you go. Coach driver. Easy tiger. You gotta watch it because they will they their nose sticks out and they'll ram into you. And you'll be charged for that. Interestingly enough. The fact that the front of that thing hits the side of my vehicle doesn't seem to factor into the calculation of whose fault that was. Look at the distance. It says zero kilometers, zero minutes. The It truly has no idea how to get there. It's as if they've put the road in, but the game can't find a route down the road, which you can only assume is this bit here. I hope I can can enter the road and make the drop. <laughs> That'd be a bit annoying if I can't. Oh, look at that sunrise. 5.30 in the morning. Absolutely beautiful. This game's so pretty. Right. There's always a guy in a mobile phone in these yards. And he's always in the way. Wow, look at the trailer spinning here. Look at that. That looks so good. <laughs> TNT. TNT is, of course, a logistics company. Where's the drop? Down the back here somewhere. This is quite a cool little yard. There it is. Have we got a reverse into that? I think we do. In which case... Ooh, hang on a minute. Now that's an interesting drop. Hmm. 
That is an interesting drop. I think I might back up. It's a bit more tricky than normal, isn't it? Essentially, I need somewhere to turn around. I'm going to have to reverse it in the... Because there is no turnaround point that I can see, so I think I'm just going to turn it around here. This is the kind of thing I've talked about before, actually, is... Like, if I make this drop now, I should get more points. This should be deemed to be an intermediate drop point in terms of difficulty. Unless you can reverse trailers, you're not going to be able to do this very easily. So I should get more XP for making this drop, shouldn't I? I'd like to see that in the game. I've always wanted to see that in the game. This is cool though. I do like a little challenge like this. There we go. Just look at the back wheel guy. Just look at look at where the very back wheel is. Use that as your guide. Push that in the right direction. See? That's how you do it. In case you're wondering. And a lot of people struggle with that. But what you need to do is look at the very, very back wheel of the trailer. And then just imagine that you're pushing it like a trolley. And you've got to push that wheel and, and watch the curve of that. And guide it in to the inside. That's how you reverse a trailer. Anyway, we got there, didn't we? Concrete delivered from Seppel to something. Miklos. Can't even pronounce that. Level 2. Newbie! Level 2 newbie! <laughs> I'm going to go for that. I'm going to increase my long distances a little bit. I need to be able to make further drops. So that's what I'm going to go for. Cool. Well... I hope you, um... Oh, I've just noticed I haven't seen that before. Look at that. I didn't know he'd snuck that in. Look, Scania for life. What an awesome dude. Hats off to him. It's a cracking piece of work. Credit will, of course, go to him in the, uh, in the mod itself. He did that. That's all his work. I just give him the images and stuff. I hope you enjoyed this second look at Hungary. I will continue to level up this profile in both streams and videos. And uh, don't forget, the mods are linked in the video description. You can get that particular Squirrel Logistics mod and add it to your uh, game and take the concrete mixer out. But, from Hungary, 5.41am. Take care, guys. And happy trucking.